Hello, I thought I would just come on and talk about the Z Flip because it's been around a month now, a bit over a month since I started using it as my main phone. I do not have any other phones, but it is the phone that I use in my everyday. I know that a lot of people who have considered moving to the Z Flip were quite worried about the idea of using it as their main phone, especially people who have been using iPhones their entire lives. It might seem like a very big downgrade, except for, for me, I thought it was a very nice upgrade. I've gotten really used to using it. Um, the size, everything is no longer awkward to me. When I first started using it, I did have some trouble with the interface. I found that the phone was so long that I couldn't really reach the areas that I wanted to when I was using it with one hand. But I think the addition of this sidebar where you can put apps and also open apps from here really helped. Um, I do have to say that my first two weeks of using it, I always accidentally opened the sidebar when I was trying to close pages by sliding because I put on the touch command so I don't have the back button at the bottom. Overall, I do have to say that the switch from iPhone was a lot smoother than I expected. There's a lot of things that I could do to the Samsung that made it work similar to the iPhone without really ruining the whole idea of it being a different phone. If you're worried about switching from an iPhone or any other phone that doesn't really run the same way as a Galaxy Z Flip would, I do think the way you customize your home screen and kind of your commands really help you with the learning curve of using a new phone. I think one big plus to this phone is that there's so much you can customize in terms of how you use it. For example, I added a scroll command on the, uh, what's it called? The finger, the finger pad on button of the phone, yep. So when I scroll down on it, it will bring up my notification center. And that really helped me because it feels similar to the um, movement of scrolling down on the iPhone and bringing up your commands, so like your volume button and stuff like that. The way the phone is initially set up out of the box is really difficult to use even if you're not moving from an iPhone. I do think it's not intuitive but you can edit a lot of things which I really liked. I am a big lover of the front screen. I find that it's a lot more useful than I expected so before getting this phone I had no idea how um, the digital pay would work on this phone. So once I actually tried setting up the Samsung Pay, I was very pleasantly surprised and happy about finding out that you can slide up to bring out your card and just tap on. I do really like the fact that you can pay without opening your phone because a lot of the time when I'm paying, I did not enjoy the action of turning on your phone and looking at a screen while you were talking to the person at the register or on the bus or wherever you're tapping on to pay. I like that I can still be present in the moment while using my digital pay. It's just, just a very nice feeling. I'm a bit more in tune with things. And I think stemming from that point actually, I think the biggest thing I enjoy about this phone is that I am not on it as much as I would be with an iPhone. And it does help me slow down my digital intake, which I really enjoy. There definitely is a level of convenience with an iPhone that is not present with the Z Flip. Everything's just a lot easier and a lot quicker to access. I found that everything on an iPhone, when I used it, it was just there. Like I would just touch something and I would have to, I would bring up whatever I need. Whereas for the Z Flip, I kind of have to go through folders more. I, I think I feel this the most with like the gallery. I'm not sure if it's just because I never learned how to use the gallery properly but I felt it the most with the photo gallery. But everything takes a bit more time to open up, which I think makes your usage more intentional, which I enjoy. Though I can imagine that if people are very busy and they are people who are very focused on productivity, an iPhone would probably be better. One thing I really miss from my old phone is the quality of images. Um, I'm not saying that the camera is quite 
that much worse than an iPhone, but I think that the, especially the zooms, they're very crunchy when you do it on screen. One thing I really enjoy about the camera, however, is the video function. As you know, you can record with your front screen, but the thing that I discovered that I really enjoy is that you can record it. You can record from like this, you can record from the, what's it called? I, I call it sandwich mode. I'm not sure what this mode is called, but you can record in this mode but show what you're recording at the front so this makes dance videos so much easier to record i'm not sure if the regular person who does not film themselves dancing would get much use out of this actually maybe if you take outfit photos or outfit videos something along those lines it is so useful because you can film in 0.5 and still see overall i really enjoy the z flip and i do think the decision to move back to an iPhone would take a lot of thinking. I don't really see myself needing an iPhone anymore, but I can see myself wanting it for convenience, which I think I'm okay with that.